Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thunderous Lure Company. Welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishy Tips. I'm here with Phil, who's got a fish on, one. and I'm here with Antonio. And uh, what we're doing today, folks, we've got our porgy rigs here. As you can see, they're tied with the T-turns. There's a nice scup right there, nice porgy. Speaking of porgy rigs. And uh, the T-turns keep you tangle free. And these come pre-tied with 40 pound fluorocarbon. So all you have to do is put it on, snap on a sinker. You got a nice big sinker snap there. Now, you're gonna laugh at what we're doing here today, folks. Normally we run like squid or cut bait. It's a nice porgy. Eh? Yeah, I should probably measure them up. They gotta be 10 and a half inches to keep. But what we're running, folks, are right here. We run these in fresh water. We tip, we tip, tip, typically tip our lures with these eye drops. And what we found is that the porgies go crazy for them. And so do the sea bass. So I brought all colors with me. These are unbelievable, folks. You could tip, you could use them as is. I'm gonna put the pink on and you can see the eye there. You don't put it through the eye, you put it through the plastic like that. That way you got an eye on both sides. So what color you got on, Phil? I got the hot pink on the bottom. Hot pink. Which and, I just cut that fish on. And silver? And silver on the top. Yeah. All right, so I'll go with hot pink and chartreuse. And Antonio's got a rig yet. So let's put a chartreuse on the top. And the thing with these eye drops, folks, fishing them just as is, we've caught a number of fish with these. And even though it's a porgy rig, you'll also catch sea bass with them. And the sea bass love those eye drops too. And basically, just fish them how you would fish your bait. All we're doing is just drifting and just letting that sinker hit the bottom. And you don't even have to move these baits. You can leave them still. Uh, they see that big eye drop. The eye drop is scented as well. And uh, shrimp scent. Shrimp scent. And speaking of uh, hot pink, that is a new color. And we're also using the extra large, which is a new size. So this is going to be the technique. We've got the tackle. We've got the rigs. We just, oh, oh. Did you miss him? Yeah, maybe he'll bite again. Put it back down. That was a good bite. I was going to say, we've got the rigs. We've got the bait. All we need are the fish. And I think I got one that's thinking about biting. Let's see here. He gave me a good bite. I just I just pulled and missed. And typically one eye drop, folks, you it will last you fish after fish. Okay, that was just a one hit one. Hey, Antonio's on. Antonio is on. This feels like a sea bass, actually. Well, like I said, the sea bass will take the the eye drops as well, right? I was listening to your tips and I added, instead of putting a sinker, I put a sting nose tipped ah, with an eye drop. Ah, look what you did. <laughs> instead of a sinker, you put a sting nose on there. But I also tipped it, which I think helped. You tipped it with an eye drop. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there we go. I got one now too. I do not have a sting nose on, Antonio. He got just the eye drops. But he gave me a nice hit. They've hit. When they hit, folks, these eye drops, they just nail them. Yeah. Oh, and I just lost them. Oh, that was a good fish. I've got one on. You got one, Phil? That was a good fish. Doesn't feel that big. You got a small one. I lost a, I lost a good one. I'm not going to say a tank, but for a, for a porgy, it was a really good fish. All right, we'll get him to bite again. It was an easy release. On again. You're on again, Antonio. Nice oh, coming up. You got him on the porgy rig. Wow. Nice one, too. You're running all chartreuse, eh? <laughs> it's Christmas over here. Christmas <laughs> lights. <laughs> Oh, uh, he hammered that. Uh, keeper, maybe? Yeah, I think so. I'll measure him up. Good fish. Yeah, it looks, it looks decent, actually. He 
He is 11, almost 11 and a half. That's a nice eye drop. It's a keeper. Very nice. Antonio, just as you, just as you put your line in, I decided to set the hook. Another vicious hit, strong bite. I wonder what he took, the pink? Oh, it's a sea bass. Sea bass. Like I said, the sea bass love these eye drops too. We discovered that these eye drops are just a fish catching machine. He took the hot pink on the bottom hook. Now, I mentioned these porgy rigs come with 40 pound test line, fluorocarbon. Obviously, you don't need 40 pound test line for porgies. But when you're fishing for porgy, you could get something else. So why not be prepared with heavier line? Phil, are you on? Yeah, just a little porgy. Little porgy? Tiny. What color did he take? Uh, the hot pink. The hot, the hot pink seems to be hot. Although the chartreuse is pretty good too. <laughs> okay. I'm fishing the wrong side of the boat. Yeah, we are. We're drifting this way, right? So there we go. Now we're. We were fishing in 25 to 30 feet of water. Right now we're in 30 feet. So, and the thing is with these rigs, with that sinker snap on the bottom, right now we got a very little chop on the water. You can adjust your sinker weight as the, you know, if, the, if it gets windier and you need a heavier sinker, very easy. Just snap one off and snap a new one on. So it's, it's very, very convenient. Okay, let's see if we can get into some more. Double header. Triple, no, 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 triple. We got a triple, triple, Antonio. You're on too. Triple header. Hey. <laughs> These eye drops, folks, I'm telling you, are on fire. <laughs> they go crazy for them. I got a nice porgy. Beautiful. Right. Hot pink. Oh. oh, Antonio's got a big one. Mine's gonna measure too. Sure, truce. Tank. Oh, I got a sea bass. You got a sea bass? Sea bass. On the silver. Mine is just 10 and a half. Just 10, and, I'm gonna throw them back. I like to keep them a little bit bigger. You got a sea bass? Sea bass on the silver. Okay. On the silver? Yeah. Nice. Antonio, what did you have? I didn't see, was it a keeper? It was a keeper, yeah. Mine was a keeper, but I, you never know for measurement wise, right? So I just threw them back. It's not as if there's a, a lack of porgy out here. So, oh, solid nice. bite. I don't know if you were able to see that hit on camera, folks, but he just nailed that eye drop. Nailed it. Oh, the, they're, they're, yeah, they're, yeah, they're strong, folks. If you've never caught porgies, also known as scup, you're in for a fight. That's a good one. On That's the chartreuse. Chartreuse. That's a 100% keeper. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Antonio's on too. To measure him. No, you don't have to measure him. Yeah, they fight hard. They do. They got these really vibration head shakes. Yeah, mine is almost 12 inches. Oh, this guy's really dark. Look at that. A really dark one. Different colors. He's too... Yeah. Yeah, look how dark that one is. Oh, yeah. Get my hook out of there. Okay. Readjust my bait. Let's toss it back in there again. So I've been getting them on both the hot pink and the chartreuse. You got them on the hot pink and the hot silver. Pink and silver yeah. Nobody's using smoked. That's a good color, too. I like that color as well. All right, we're back oh, in. Antonio's, Antonio's back on, on already. Our truce is hot. <laughs> this guy feels different. Oh, it's a sea bass. Oh, yeah. Little guy. Oh, oh, I just missed him. Oh, what a good bite. Almost took the rod out of my hands. Can't believe I missed that fish. Oh, that was a good bite. Oh, my. That was a sea bass, Antonio? Small one, yeah. Yeah. Sea bass. There's one. There you go, Phil.
Porgy? Uh, I'm not sure. It could be a sea bass. Oh. oh, it's a rock and robin. Even they like the eye drops. What do you like that, eh? Sea robin. Usually when you start catching those, it's time to move. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's typically what we do, yeah. Typically. Oh my goodness. I don't want to manhandle this guy too no, much. No, you better be careful with that one. All right, so I'm going to just check my, my, that was a major league bite, but look at that. I still have my baits. These baits stay on really, really well. Okay. We might have to make a little move. We'll see. Where are we in? We're in 30 feet of water. Chartreuse man. Yep. It is a yeah. corgi. Nice corgi. Oh, nice one. Yeah. Chunk. Top hook. Top hook. Oh, Bill's on. I just tossed mine out. See if we can get into him here. Oh, that looks good, Phil. It's got a bit of weight to him. Yeah. I think you got a good one. Unless you got a sea Probably bass. In the service. Right? The service. I think it's a sea bass. It yeah. is a sea bass. Small sea bass. Yeah. That's all right. Yep. And he took your chartreuse. Took the silver. Oh, the silver. That's right. You don't have chartreuse. No. Okay. <laughs> did take the chartreuse, that'll be something. <laughs> Just as you threw that bass in, I decided to get a bite. It's fighting like a bass too. We might be into a little little pot of bass. No, it's a, it's a porgy. Oh, a good one too. He hooked, he took the chartreuse. That's another one of those dark colored ones. That's what I mean about these eye drops. You can use them fish over fish over after fish. That actually, I think, that's gonna be close. That's 11 inches, so we'll put them in. There we go. Now, if you've never used these T-turn bait rigs, folks, they're made with T-turn. Our the Thunderous T-turns, of course, which keeps you tangle free, which is very nice, and also avoids line twist, which can be helpful with some of these saltwater fish. Okay, back in we go. And in case you're wondering, it is the rig number 3A. There are other saltwater rigs and freshwater rigs. But the porgy rig is number 3A. All right, so we're back in again. A little flurry of activity there. We're in now, we've, we're drifting. We are not anchored, folks. We are drifting. I like to cover ground. You get into different fish, different species. And, uh, and it's, I don't know, I like it. It's more fun that way for me anyway. So we're drifting, we've got a slow drift going. Now we're in 28 feet of water, so we'll see how this bite continues. Speaking of how the bite continues. This is heavy, like, I mean heavy. Oh, you got something good? I wonder if I have two. You, oh, you, you could. I could have three. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You could. I got the edge on you, you guys. Could, you could have three. Oh, like, this has got weight. Oh, yeah, so you got one too. Nice. Well, I'm anxious to see what you got, Antonio. Oh, mine just came off, actually. Right, that is multiple fish or one big one. And it is a big sea bass. Oh, you got him on the sting nose. Can I him, Antonio? Tip sting, sting nose. nose. Oh. Oh, oh, there he goes. That's good. Catch and release. <laughs> oh, wow. Catch and release. Good fish. No, you're getting bites. I got you're one on. bites. <laughs> he put his rod down to grab the net. And there was... And the rod tip just started going. Just hooked itself. Imagine that. <laughs> Unbelievable. You got a sea bass too. So we must Jeez. be out of the scup zone, out of the porgy zone, and into the sea bass zone, maybe. But like I say, the sea bass, they love them too. This is a this is a porgy for sure. Think? Yeah. Well, I shouldn't say that. I don't know. Well, he's fighting like a porgy. It is. And I see flash. And that is exactly what I got. And that's a good one. It's a good fish. Another one of those multi-colored. Okay.